Uh, hi there, my name is James Booth. Uh, I work at the iBug Group at Imperial College London. This work, titled A 3D Morphal Model Learned from 10,000 Faces, is a collaboration between iBug and Great Ormond Street Hospital. Morphal models are powerful 3D statistical models of the human face. In the original formulation, a morphal model was shown to be capable of inferring a full 3D facial surface from a single image of a person, shown here, but their use has since blossomed into many other fields. A morphal model is constructed by performing some form of dimensionality reduction, typically PCA, on a set of training facial meshes that have been placed in dense correspondence. Existing techniques for establishing accurate correspondences required painstaking manual annotation, and so were never employed on larger data sets. So in this work, we put forward a fully automatic pipeline for multiple model construction and apply this pipeline on a new data set of nearly 10,000 facial measures collected by Great Ormond Street Hospital in order to build large scale facial model, the most descriptive multiple model yet built. There are three major contributions arising from our work. Firstly, we make publicly available a high resolution 3D multiple model learned from nearly 10,000 individuals drawn from a wide variety of age, gender and ethnic backgrounds. Existing state-of-the-art models, like the Basel face model, are built from around 200 individuals and are typically far less diverse. We demonstrate in our paper that a training set drawn from a far more representative set of demographics, coupled with this twofold increase in training set size, yields a 3D morphal model with measurable improvements in performance. We furthermore have, for each individual in our training set, their age, gender and ethnic background. We use this information to construct bespoke 3D morphal models for different demographic groups. These tailored models, shown here, the first of their kind, are also made publicly available. Our strategy for constructing the models uses a non-rigid iterative closest point algorithm to establish dense correspondence, guided to convergence by a set of sparse annotations. We take a novel approach to 3D landmark localization, leveraging the extensive expertise available for 2D landmark localization to perform this 3D task. To do this, we render a set of views from each 3D scan. For each view, we render a normal RGB image, but we also render an XYZ shape image, so we can map locations in the texture back to the 3D surface. In this scheme, fitting the RGB views using a state-of-the-art 2D facial landmark localization technique allows us to robustly locate 3D landmarks. With such a large cohort of training data, there will inevitably be a small number of failure cases, and so we take a fault-tolerant approach. We register each individual training sample to a template and perform PCA. By detecting samples which invalidate the Gaussian assumption of the PCA model, we are able to effectively weed them out, and by automatically discarding them, we retain a highly accurate model. As the second major contribution from our work, an open source implementation of our fully automatic pipeline is made available. The code is made available as part of the Mempo project, a set of open source Python libraries for computer vision. If you work with images, meshes, bounding boxes, annotations, if you need image warping, to take image features, or you need object detection or landmark localization, the Mempo project may have something useful for you. The final contribution in our paper is an exciting first look into what we can learn about the human facial appearance from such a large quantity of 3D data. We visualize the manifold of our training set by performing a 2D TSNE embedding. We visualize the manif uh, sorry, we, if we colorize the manifold based on the ethnic group of the individual, we see clear clustering by their ethnicity. Furthermore, if we instead color based on age, left here, we can see the manifold is arranged by the age of the participants. 
This exciting discovery goes beyond computer vision, offering fundamental insight into how the human face varies between all of us.